Good morning, everybody. Or Jay here with another War of the Visions video. I am on vacation right now, so I'm pre-recording a little video here. It's going to be my one-year account show-and-tell video. And while you're watching this, I'm probably having some, like, awesome meal or something. I don't know. hanging out with the wife. We're about to have a baby, so I hear that our lives are going to go like this, like turn upside down. And that's fine, but... Yo, I still want to put out a video today, so I'm going to do my little account show and tell after one year of playing the game. Let's get to it. Okay, so first things first. One thing that has not changed about my account in a really long time is this home screen unit right here. Everybody who's real knows that you rock Eileen on your home screen. I mean, is she the best unit in the game? Absolutely not, but is she the best unit on my home screen? Yeah, she's that. She's that. So, anyway, we're at Royal, we're at account rank 133, and we are at Royal rank, let's load this, Royal rank, do 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 11, and, you know, that's, a, I'm impressed that I'm not at 12, I feel like I spend a reasonable amount of money on this game, so to not be at Royal rank 12 feels a little strange, considering there's people out there who are Royal rank 12, which means they've spent more money than me. Okay, let's get to the funnest part of this, and that's going to be the units. Now, I think what I'll do here is I'll go element by element and kind of show off what I've got. So, fire, we'll start, let's go in order. Fire, this is going to be my weakest element, I think. My only two URs maxed are Rain and King Oldie. Now, Luartha, I'm getting her shards every day, and Raldor, I just pulled him fairly recently, and I am running his hard quests every day. So eventually, these two will join the fray, but my fire team is pretty lacking. Uh, King Mott is on the radar for me, coming down the line, but that's really what I'm doing for fire right now. My MR fire units are just Adelard and Yishtola. Um, I mean, I've had Yishtola since, like, day one, and Adelard's been an awesome unit for a long time. Okay, Ice. Uh, my ice, also not super strong. Agrius, Victora, Medina are my three max units. Medina is what she is. Victora, I get a ton of use out of still, and Agrius is a beast of a tank. My MRs, I only have Nasha maxed. Um, yeah, that's it. I think the, uh, I think Shell's a really good unit, and my Laswell is very, very close to being maxed. So, that's what I'm doing there. Let's go to Wind. Okay, wind. I have a few uh, more wind units maxed out, but again, like, I think once we get to these last two, dark and light, you'll get to see just how heavily this game has leaned into dark and light. For wind, I have Oldoa, Ayaka, Lucia. I'm working on Howlet. I will never work on Leela. Yurma will eventually happen, I'm sure. And then for MRs, I just have Dario and Helena maxed out. Okay, Earth. We've got, this is my... This is one of my stronger elements for sure, right? We have Christmas Venera, Halloween Zombie Ryryu, Eileen, the queen of the account, Kilfay, and then we're working on Katone, who's very, very close. Uh, buying her shards every day, and in fact, she's at 509 out of 600. So, within about 10 days, actually about 8 days, she'll be finished. Mont has been a beast this whole game. Etra is maxed, and that's what I have to say about Etra. Let's go to Lightning. Okay, Lightning, I'm doing pretty good. We got a Nivlu, we got a Skull, we got Frederica, and we have Orlando. Four URs maxed, um, all of which see a significant amount of playtime. I don't really have less than UR units that I worry about for Lightning. My Salir can be 99, I just need to level her, I just kind of got her to this recently. But, I mean, I use Nivlu and Frederica together a ton, Skull's a beast, and Orlando's Orlando. Okay, water. Hey, my water's in pretty good shape. Um, two Christmas slash winter units, right? Vicky and, um, Ramada. I really like both of these units. Christmas Ramada, I expect to get a lot of work in with Titus soon. Glacial is a beast. Ildira is one of the better units in the game. Miranda's getting close for me. She's at three, uh, close to limit break four. How about I say that? So I'm working on her. Um, crazy, the MR gunner's really good. I've gotten a lot, some use, actually, out of these MR characters, uh, specifically in PvE. Okay, time for the big two. That's light and dark. Yeah, light, I'm stacking them up. We have, uh, Sleepy Time, Sakura, Warrior of Light, Cecil, Ramza, Thancred, Engelbert, Mashery maxed out. 
Rob is slowly coming along, and then we even have some MRs maxed out here with Fina and Grace, mostly supports. Um, I think these two MR units right here are worth working on. I just don't have room on my daily quests right now, but I'm sure I'll pull a bunch of their shards probably during the anniversary. Okay, Darkness. Yeah, we've got Garvel, Ruinstern, Duane, Kane, Venera, Jiza, Stern, and actually, Whisper is MLB'd. I just am running short on um, some Awakening materials, and in fact, I could just do that whenever I want to. And she's she's in my groups that I'm running, so she's gaining the levels. For MR here, I have Gaff Garion and Shadow Links maxed out, and I'm not too worried about the rest of them, honestly. So that's my units. Like, I feel like my units are in a pretty, excuse me, dang good place. If we're counting URs, what is that? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 2, 4, 6, 36 MLB, yeah, 36 MLB UR units. So, I mean, I, I feel like I can, yeah, I like that. I'm feeling good about that. Okay, let's look at vision cards, because this is the other one. And for anybody who's new or anybody who's watching this, the way this game like progresses is you work on units so heavily at first, and then you just hit this point where you transition to vision cards being your main focus. That point for me was probably like six months ago. So my vision cards are in really, really good shape. Like I'll just kind of scroll through this instead of going over them all. But you can see this is um quite a few UR vision cards maxed out. I have the stuff to finish Siren. She's just the card right now that I give one level to every day. But once Titus lands and I start building water teams, um, I'll finish that off. I, th Where I'm lacking in UR vision cards is I don't have a UR missile resist card. Like I never pulled the one that um, has like Mont on it and I don't have Mobius. So I'm also hoping to land a bunch more Igion shards. This is a really good card and I only have 95 shards for it. Like it's one of those cards I just never see. So in total, what is this? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. I'll call Siren done. 24 maxed UR cards. Um, if you are a newer player and you're watching this, hey, work on these. Get these MR cards maxed out. There's some just fantastic MR cards in there. And I know this is my account show and tell and not a tutorial video, but I still just wanted to, you know, mix that in. Okay, how about espers what espers have i been working on um ooh, let's sort this by a meaningful metric here uh times awake level there we go okay so here's the espers that i have maxed out basically everything on this page is maxed i'm feeling really good about this like i feel like i have at least two espers for each type of unit maxed and ready to rock then i have some more that i just need you know materials for it to level like leveling two wind things at once has been brutal and then there's some that i just still haven't even got to that i think are pretty good um like toneberry blood moon cactar you know uh mind flayer here uh moogle those are good espers but i'm saving up those leveling materials for my boy bahamut that's coming up in a couple of days so yeah Espers are not something that you can really accelerate. You kind of just wait for Hiroki's gifts and then go hard on something. And that's sort of how that works. Let's check out equipment. So equipment is something that I think I've done a pretty good job of, but not the best. So if you're new, basically here's how equipment works. There's going to be events you can farm, raids you can do, and you're going to be able to max stuff during those. My proudest moment was probably the two wind spears. Like I really like using piercing units. And Wind Spear is such a good unit that, uh, or unit, it's a good item that when it come when it came around, I got two of them. Uh, if you missed the Wind Spear event, just keep your eyes open for the rerun of that. I mean, otherwise, like I kind of just have the standard stuff. Ice Brand plus five is a big account milestone in my opinion. <laughs> somebody just followed the, uh, <laughs> somebody just followed the channel. And I'm not live. So thank you, Can O Pus, for the follow. You're going to be on Wednesday's YouTube video. So that's cool. But anyway, 
Ice Brand is like a big account milestone because you just have to farm the shop for this. So you have to buy 63 recipes and they just randomly spawn. And this was a really hype moment for me getting that done and it powered up my Agrius massively. So if you use Agrius or Gilgamesh, look for those. Um, yeah, other than that, it's pretty standard stuff. The way armor works and accessories in this game is you're going to be working on units, right? And you're going to get trust masters from units. Most trust masters are not as good as like a plus five piece of gear, but some of them are pretty nice. Like let's look at bodyguards coat here, right? 584 HP, 10 defense and light resist 15. That's a pretty decent piece of armor. So if you are lacking the, in the plus five armor department, you lean on your trust masters, but eventually you get to the point where you just have built like good stuff. And then you can, um, you know, start moving away from trust masters into plus five gear accessories, kind of the same way, except some of the best accessories in the game are actually trust masters, like bewitching boots, old doe and apron, Jesus bells, like the standard stuff. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's look at our guild because, um, the guild is something I'm really proud of. I've been a member of salt squad for a very, very long time. And we are not actually rank one. Maybe this was a bad day to look at the guild. But when it, today's the first day of the new Guild Wars map. So it's Sunday when I'm recording this. We are actually... Ooh, Doc Butter with the sub. People sub... Uh, that is a prime subscription during a YouTube video filming. Thank you, Doc Butter, for that Amazon Prime subscription. You kick ass. Um, great. Anyway... Let's look at rankings. Okay, where are we at? League. No data. We're like 20-something. You know, like 28 or something. And that's fine. We typically hover between 15 and 30. And every once in a while, we peek into the top 10. But our statues are in a pretty good place. We have level 6 on everything. And we're more than halfway through Bull to level 7. Um, guys, being a member of this guild, Cayenne has been awesome has probably like kept me invested in the game um between the guild and like youtubing in the community those have been the biggest things to keep me invested uh we'll look at my guild contribution status you can see in this how long i've been in the guild compared to like maybe other people so i'm at three michael and zill have been in the guild longer than me Ooh, but i'm catching you zill you must have run out of gold things to turn in michael over here like quietly every day just you know dropping those things off then we got these other people who've been in the guild for a really long time where's tay got tay 13th scrub just kidding okay i think that's about all i really want to show off i don't know what more there is to show i'm really ready for ex units i've been saving the heck out of these soul coins i'm sitting at 4400 so bring on the ex and that's it guys Thank you for watching this. I know this wasn't like as high of a quality video as I usually do, but I'm on vacation. So what are you going to do? Um, that's what I got for you today. Thank you for watching. I will be streaming later today because I'm actually getting home this morning. So yeah, come check out the stream for Central Time. We're going to do some Guild Wars videos. I'll see you there later.